Hi friends, in this session we will discuss the preparation strategy of FRM Part 1's book 3, Financial Markets and Products. In case you are looking for preparation strategy of other books like the book 1, 2 or 4, then the link is available in the description, so do check out. Now here, the book 3's FMP, so Financial Markets and Products, is the easiest subject of all 4 subjects. Now here, in this subject, we have the core discussions which relates to the basics of finance, basics of derivatives like the options and futures and forwards. And with this, we also have a discussion which relates to the basics of fixed income. Now, basics of fixed income is mainly interest rate properties and then the interest rate futures and so on. Now, here you will get approximately 30 questions in examination. And these 30 questions, as per my understanding or as per my judgment, approximately 10 to 15 questions will be numerical nature and remaining questions will be of theory nature. My expectation is 10 is more likely, okay? So you will get approximately 10 questions which are of numerical nature, okay? So 15 is not that possible, but still I'm giving you the range of 10 to 15 numerical questions. Fine, now the subject structure is approximately 30% topics are of theory nature and remaining 70% topics are of the numerical nature. Numerical nature means where you need to do any calculations or the you need to apply some formulas. Now here, so when I'm saying numerical nature topics means if the topic covers or the topic has a concepts, majority of the concepts which are of the numerical nature, for example, hedging, forward future pricing, introduction of derivatives, swaps, interested properties for uh, interested futures, MBAs and all, I do consider those topics as numerical, but in examination, recently, as per the recent trends, uh, we are getting new uh, theor theoretical questions on those topics instead of numerical questions. So numerical topics but theoretical questions like this so this is a recent pattern now here we can divide this particular subject in three parts so first part covers the basics of finance very basics of finance it covers the banking insurance and the hedge fund and these are the three topics then we have the basics of derivatives of so futures options and forwards and approximately 10 topics are on this particular area then we have the fixed income area as we already discussed like it is the interest rate swaps mbs and so on so we have approximately six to seven topics which are uh, fixed income topics now if you are new to the industry of finance, you're completely new, you don't understand what is investment banking, you don't understand what is commercial banking and all, and then um, maybe you are not aware of the insurance industry or the insurance companies and the hedge fund, then you should start your preparation with these uh, three subjects, uh, three topics. Okay, so banking, insurance and hedge fund, which are the first three topics of uh, this book. If you already know all these things, if you are aware of all these concepts, then you should skip these three topics because these three topics are very theoretical in nature and ideally you should prepare theory topics in the end or closer to examination because in theory you have to read and remember and if you read these topics very early then you won't be able to remember anything when near to exam and again you will be preparing these topics as like new okay so that's why the recommendation is like this if you are very new to this industry finance then first three topics are recommended start with these three topics if you already understand the basics of finance then move on to this section the derivative section start with derivative section finish all the topics or derivatives i will also show you the book and i will also give you the guidance on what which topics or which concepts are important and so on but for now just a general overview so derivatives is very important area and you should finish these topics first. Once you are done with these topics, the derivatives topic, move to subject number four, valuation and risk models. And there we have three topics, again, which relates to the derivative. For example, the BSM, uh, black Scholes and Metten model, binomial trees and Greek. So these three topics are directly related to futures and options. So my recommendation would be to cover those topics with the derivatives uh, because those topics are linked with the derivatives. And then once you're done with this, move to next section, fixed income. Now this is not compulsory that you should do derivatives first and fixed income later. You can choose the alternate method. So start with fixed income and then finish fixed income of book three. Then we have six topics on fixed income in book four as well. And then you should prepare those topics and now then you start the derivatives. So this is general idea. I will also release the self study sequence, which is very fine tuned sequence where we discuss every section by section discussion. Okay, so we will have that particular discussion and I will guide you like in which month, which topics you should prepare, which is based on a particular um, my analysis of the complete FRM curriculum. So we will discuss that in that video. So very soon you will get the self study sequence video as well. But for now, this is your general idea. Now, as, I, as we already discussed, 
the derivative section and fixed income section is directly related to or gets extended in the book number four specifically for fixed income you will have a lot of repeated discussion in book four so all the interest rate properties discussion and um, interest rate futures discussion we have repetition in book four as well so in case you are unable to understand everything in book three itself wait till you reach to book four and in book four because we will have the repeated discussion of the on the fixed income you will get the better idea of the same concepts so again the same concepts are discussed in slightly different language because the author is different like this okay so this is about the basic general introduction now we will switch to our notes so again here my assumption is you are using falconer defense essential package which covers the books mock test approximately 100 plus mock test again theory based mock tests are there a full round of mock test topic wise quizzes and then with the topic wise quizzes we also have the section wise test here First, assuming you are very new to this industry, this is our section one of book three. This is our section one of book three. So first three topics. Now we have to start with section one. In section one, it starts with the banking or banks. Then we have insurance companies and pension plans and then we have fund management which is mainly a hedge fund chapter. So here we have only few numerical discussions like uh, what is the NAV calculation and so on and rest of the discussion is theory only. If you already understand all these concepts maybe you studied it in CFA or in MBA finance or any finance related curriculum then you can also use our fast track notes where we cover the complete topic in just two pages so one topic in two pages like this for three topics you will have approximately four to five pages because that particular fast track those notes fast track notes right now i don't have uh, fast track notes in this device which you are seeing right now so in fast track notes all the important points are covered the important points which are important for examining you must remember those points for examination so for those students if you are already aware of these concepts just focus on the key points and you are good to go like this and for the calculation part just take the full notes you don't need to read full notes okay so this was the section one again you should prepare the section one in the beginning if you are new to this industry if you are already aware of the finance terminologies move on to this particular part the section two start with section two in this case okay so in section two, we have introduction to derivatives, which covers all the basics of derivatives like the forward future option, payoff of option, profit of option, profit of forwards, futures, and so on. Then exchange and OTC market is very theoretical chapter, but here we have the margin calculations, margin requirement. So this particular area is very, very important calculative where you need to focus a lot. Then we have the central clearing, purely theory topic, then futures market, partly theory, partly numerical. Then we have using uh, futures for hedging, a very numerical type of topic where you need to do a lot of calculations you need to understand what is beta correlation coefficient and so on then forward forward exchange market again important topic here but important note till this particular point we are still in section two and this is where the section two ends as per uh, recent uh, like um recent structure okay i might change structure for 2023 uh, 2023 right now i'm yet to finalize what will be these sections okay so what topics will be covered in which sections because i have to balance a lot of things balance uh, preparation pressure because we have to design section test accordingly so a lot of things are there so for now at least till uh, like till this chapter we are in section two itself now here pricing of financial forwards and futures and commodity forwards and futures what i did i combined both the topics and now we have a synchronized discussion of both the topics as per gaps curriculum these two topics are very separate but as per my structure these two topics are combined and we are having the combined discussion here so right now whatever you are seeing we are discussing the two topics at once and this topic is very important from exam perspective you will get a lot of questions approximately i guess i forgot to give you the number of questions i'll just give you the quick idea this is my expectation again and whenever in this session i will say like this is important this is not important even if i say this is not important you must study that particular area but when i say this is important any section is important in that section you should focus extra you should put extra focus in that right now first is the banks in banks you can get you my expectation 
probability will get one question maximum theoretical in nature insurance companies one question may be theoretical or maybe numerical in nature if you get a numerical question which will be based this particular question will be based on the term insurance premium calculation then we have the fund management generally there are theoretical questions but sometimes got asked the nav calculation question which is numerical question so again one question maximum introduction to derivatives one to two questions are possible numerical or theory anything is possible because um topic has all the possibilities exchange and otc market margin calculation is very important expect around one question not more than one question then central clearing maybe one question maybe not okay then we have the futures market and question view theory so futures market expect one to two questions and again uh, highly theoretical uh, questions are possible here then we have uh, using uh, using futures for hedging or simply hedging chapter now in this hedging chapter concepts are numerical approximately one to two questions you will get uh, chances are you will get numerical questions but as per recent trends gap is asking some theory questions here so be prepared for theory questions and what type of theory questions available in the mock test foreign exchange markets numerical mainly but possibility is theoretical again this will be applicable for most of the topics and here approximately one to two questions previously in like 2019 and all so gap used to ask two to three questions on this area okay so previously the things were very defined now we don't have uh, well defined things here uh, financial uh, like this forward future pricing and the commodity forward futures and the pricing again so these two topics combined you will get you might get approximately three to four questions on these topics lot of discussion is here now options market very easy topic approximately one question and easy question okay theoretical or maybe practical uh, numerical properties of stock option purely theory question one question maximum this is my expectation then we have the trading strategies again very uh, theoretical discussion but you might also get the practical question numerical question but i never saw any numerical question on this area there is possibility of numerical question but i'm not aware of the numerical question mainly you get a theory question generally ga pass question like okay so this is a situation which strategy you will opt we will see it in the like when we will visit this topic now exotic option purely theory question one question maximum properties of interest rate one to two questions but here we have problem because similar discussion is there in the book 4 so we can't properly decide like the the gap is asking that question from book 3 or book 4 so generally like one to two questions on this area corporate bonds one question theoretical in nature then this is we are right now in just a second so from this part we are in section 4 and this is interest rate properties or fixed income area okay so fixed income area and first this is section 4 this is section 4 and these three topics remember section 4 section 4 and section 4 so these three topics are combined with uh, the three topics of book 4 okay so this is slightly different then this comes in section 5 a different section and then again different section and then we combine this particular section with the remaining two or three topics of book 4 okay so you, when we will discuss book 4 you will understand and this particular section the properties just a second the exotic option proper uh, trading strategies properties stock option option market and all these three topics are the part of a different section the section number 3 which is combined with the bsm black scholes and metal model uh binomial trees and the greeks part okay so now let's start our topic by topic discussion so here first is the banks in banks we have first the introduction part so the basics are here so what is credit risk and all internal fraud external fraud pretty basic discussion so this particular part is important so regulatory capital and um, economic capital you need to understand the difference between this again basel's evolution the standard model versus internal model again you might get question on this area trading versus banking book understand what is the difference between these two books liquidity ratios generally like i'm not expecting any numerical question on this but you should know because anyway in a farm part to we have numerical discussion on this area deposit insurance understand the concept and also understand how deposit insurance differs from the insurance company's insurance so investment banking and financial arrangements understand everything here then ipos dutch auction very important area very very important area and here you need to understand how the auction works 
okay so that is illustration to understand like for explanation then advisory services and then we have the conflict of interest again important area okay then we have originate to distribute model uh, right now we have the discussion in the banking as well as same discussion will be repeated in mbs chapter originate to distribute model understand originate to distribute model gaps this is gaps favorite area same discussion the originate to distribute model will be repeated in multiple subjects so in subject one we have um, a discussion on the financial crisis of 2008 there you will get the discussion on originate to distribute then in mbs chapter we have originate to distribute in this banking uh, chapter we have originate to distribute so this same thing is covered in multiple areas in frm part 2 we have four topics on originate to distribute like that okay then we have the insurance company and the pension plan so first again this is very basic chapter so most important part is this term life insurance so this table you have to understand the table okay you don't need to remember any values here just understand a table understand one more thing like how the survival probability changes according to the age this is what you need to understand if you get any three question on this you should be able to solve it and then the policy premium calculation for the term insurance is a very important area and the policy premium calculation is given here this is the illustration which you must remember and understand and solve if you get a question on this illustration question will be straightforward if you can solve this illustration you will be able to solve the exam question that simple okay that's straightforward now the endowment uh, policies and then the group life insurance understand all the basics annuity contract understand all the basics longevity and the mortality risk very important area again highly testable area understand the difference between these two maybe like gap might also ask the uh, case study based question on this area then property and the casualty casualty insurance p and c so here we have okay then cat bond understand the cat bond uh, ratios for pnc business all the ratios are important for from the understanding as well as you should be able to do the calculation because the ratios are very simple here health insurance understand the basic moral hazard versus adverse selection understand the basic regulation i guess this okay so see moral hazard and adverse selection same topic is available in banking as well so understand how it differs from banking in insurance okay and then the regulations regulations for bank very important area very very important area okay then next introduction fund management okay in fund management all the concepts are basic and here we have the nab calculation if you get an nab calculation question the question will be very basic and similar to the illustration then we have the hedge fund hurdle rate high watermark clawback clause and very important area understand what are these terminologies and convertible arbitrage and so on global macro fund research mutual fund research hedge fund research understand it okay then introduction to derivatives in introduction to derivatives we have key terms first understand all the key terms what are these understand what is underlying uh, important area is just a second i'll show you you have to read each and everything from this particular chapter make sure you are completely confident in this area because your remaining discussion all the 10 topics are dependent on this topic okay so we have long forward long futures discussion uh, you need to wherever you see any table table is important as we discussed in book 2's discussion whenever you see any kind of calculation calculation is important payoff from the forward contract so this is like complete payoff diagram with the actual illustration so this is your illustration how it works in long forward how it works in short forward payoff per bushel sense and then so we also have the same discussion here then we have the futures contract then we have the options discussion in options discussion um, this is like detailed discussion step by step approach then payoff versus profit then we have the payoff profit table payoff profit diagram diagrams are very important sometimes gap asks questions directly on diagram so you should know how to handle these diagrams then we have the long put and short put just saying what is this yeah okay so this is what they put same is applicable here diagrams are important calculations are important understanding is important now points to note note these points remember these points okay then over the counter uh, markets versus exchange then the exchange traded market understand it over the counter market understand it we have the detailed discussion on these topics in coming topics or coming readings okay then the hedgers versus speculators versus arbitrages understand all the basics then we have the exchange and otc market in exchange and otc market now in exchange and otc markets we have first um, this is a theoretical discussion you have to understand what is the uh, clearing process central counterparties you have to understand everything in the detail 
netting margin requirement now margin requirement is very very complicated area so make sure you understand each and every margin requirement calculations and you must understand how to deal with each type of margin depending on the case okay then we have initial variation margin understand the initial margin variation margin and so on then margin calculation for options on stock it differs from short sale it differs from next margin buying buying on margin and you have to understand how things work in each scenario you might get a numerical question on this area now next is the over the counter markets in over the counter markets you have to again understand the basics here then the risk mitigation techniques in the otc market so again theoretical discussion you have to understand each and every part here but again you will get theory question okay so central clearing is again purely theory topic all the theory key points are already marked in red so even if you read the red portion which I personally think currently it is really highly red okay so just read or remember the red portion and you, you are good to go so regulations of otc market again the same discussion is repeated here so then we have the standard versus non-standard transactions again understand it netting and bilateral clearing okay so you might get any numerical question in this area then we have the advantages versus disadvantages of the ccps understand it very important then disadvantages of ccps okay ccp risk again important okay then we have the futures market in futures market all things are basic open interest a lot of students get confused in this open interest area make sure you understand open interest properly and then you are able to apply the open interest concept then next is the specifications of contract the underlying asset contract size delivery location and all so all the specifications are important god likes to test the specification in the examination now delivery mechanism simple but understand it okay then cash settlement understand it then we have the miscellaneous discussion related to the futures so pattern of future prices market participants then order types order types are important okay then we have the regulations of futures market uh, accounting rules understand it forward futures understand it okay then using uh, futures for hedging very important everything given in this chapter is completely important like highly important okay now here we have the long edge versus short edge hedging is explained then hedging's cases benefits how hedging works in practice uh, works in like um, the calculations of hedging and how hedging helps then advantages and disadvantages of hedging important futures and forward contract you need to know how to calculate the beta which is a hedge ratio and then using the covariance or directly using the correlation this is illustration and illustration illustration a lot of illustrations are here then the hedging reconciliation so here we reconcile the hedging which is again not given in any book but we provide so that you have the proper understanding like how hedging is working in reality so then telling the hedge very important generally gap ask half the question which is just a telling hedge beta adjustment very important and very favorite area of gap then we have the rolling the hedge forward stack and roll the very basic question then the forward uh, foreign exchange the, simply the forex chapter everything is important here so spot versus forward versus future quotation understand the quotations here then we have the bid ask quotation understand what is bid what is ask then we have the spot quotation forward quotation and so on then outright forward and fx swap transaction then the risks in for uh, forex transaction risk understand translation risk and economic risk gap might ask you um, statement based question on this area like which one of the following is the economic or transaction or translation risk even we have similar question in our mock test now the factors that determine the exchange rate understand all the factors purchasing power parity very important ppp formula is very simple you need to understand how to apply this particular formula and make sure you are using the direct quote if you use the indirect quote your calculations will be wrong interest rate parity is here purchasing power parity and interest rate parity are similar but different concepts now covered versus uncovered interest parity make sure you understand it then we have the, these two topics combined discussion of forward futures lot of learning objectives are here then here we have all the discussions make sure you use these notes for these topics okay these two topics if you are using like any other thing i assure you you are missing a lot of things i will just show you like to what extent we are taking care here okay just see 
every possible area of like testable area which is not even maybe not given in garb's book is covered here okay so variations what type of variations are possible how to deal with different different type of formulas how to deal with effective rate as well as the cc rate continuously compounded rate maybe you are uh, watching about one particular like you are using uh, notes which uses say effective rate and maybe in exam you might get a question on cc rate continuously compounded rate so you should understand how to deal with both the rates in forward future pricing then storage cost so storage cost this discussion is amazing like uh, how to deal with the storage cost which is paid in advance paid after six months that is in between or paid in the maturity so all the variations are covered here and how it affects the prices then the dividend discussion is here lease and the convenience yield again very detailed discussion very important everything is important okay so in case i forgot to tell you everything is important in this particular part the next is the forward and future forward prices versus future prices arbitrage in the future forward and future prices you need to understand the theoretical uh, background here then the arbitrage in the futures this is the arbitrage question understand it tables tables and tables whenever you see tables tables are important valuation versus pricing of the forward contracts again important then we have speculation points related to commodities forwards and futures understand it okay then understand it convenient uh, contango and the backwardation understand it. what is contango what is backwardation reason for contango reason for backwardation okay then we have the basis risk again understand what is basis risk and you should know how to calculate the basis risk then we have the options just a second then we have the options market again very easy discussion so intrinsic value most of the discussion is repeated here we already discussed everything in book one because i covered the complete discussion in book, uh, sorry i covered this in reading number four introduction to derivatives okay not the book one sorry for that so here we have types of underlying again the specific discussion then specifications of exchange traded options maturity and so on understand everything understand and remember all the key points table as we discussed tables are important then we have the trading commission and margin requirements uh, understand all these things margin requirement as in the theoretical discussion is here warrants and convertible bonds understand it then we have the properties of options in properties of options we start with the properties table is very important gap likes to test this table like what is the impact of underlying price changes on call put european call european put american call american put like that okay so this table itself is very important even if you remember this particular table and understand what is the meaning of this table or what is given in this table at least 50 there is 50 percent probability you will be able to take the right answer in the examination because chances are you will get question on this area i will give the example if the underlying price if the say tries with the increase in strike price call european call options um, price will decline or increase which one of the following statement is correct or incorrect like this okay this type of question you will get in the examination then early exercise decision super important and elaborated in very detailed manner in proper manner okay put option early exercise then we have the upper and the lower bound then we have reason for upper and lower bounds and a lot of discussion is here then we have the trading strategies trading strategies are very simple remember the graph just a second okay <clears throat> now the graphs are important here also when to use which strategy and just a second i'll show you like so this is covered okay then spread okay so example reasoning behind the composition okay so everything is given here and this is important when to utilize okay so understand and remember this and everything is given again here so again all the key points and bullet points are important box spread again given here now the butterfly butterfly strategy so everything we discuss everything in this uh, particular area is discussed using like say what is the composition when to enter into this strategy and advantages like that okay so you have to understand and remember these points because you might get tested on this like when to enter into butterfly or when to choose the butterfly strategy like that and that's why I separated the discussion that's why it is clearly written like what is the composition when to enter and same is applicable for all the remaining strategies okay then we have the straddle and strangle c composition when to use the strategy then composition when to use the strategy all the graphs are important you might get question directly on the graph okay so then strip and strap and you should also understand which strategy is cheaper and which strategy is expensive 
okay then we have the strip then we have the exotic option in exotic option all the discussions are um, slightly complicated but theoretical okay so you have to again understand very important area gap option then chooser option important binary is important asian option basic look back option important barrier option important compound option very important okay then we have uh, asset exchange uh, basket option basic basics okay then we have the volatility swap and variance swap understand the difference between volatility and the variance and relation between the volatility and variance swap hedging exotic options understand it okay then we have the properties of interest rate uh, interest rate or the fixed income area now you have to start with the compounding and discounting in case you find this particular area difficult to understand i would recommend you to start with the time value of money chapter so time value of money uh, chapter or the video will be available on our channel and time value of money for cfa level one in cfa level one in quants we have time value of money in that particular chapter we will discuss everything which relates to the basics of time value of money so if you feel this particular topic difficult start with that topic time value of money watch that video and then uh, read this particular section so very important first part itself then we have the compounding and discounting frequencies uh, continuously compounded uh, discounting and compounding again the formats and the formulas and everything is important this is do it yourself you have to do it once you learn how to fill all the question bank uh, question marks you are good to go for the basics then we have the bond pricing here we discuss how to do the bond pricing we start with the bond pricing this is how to use the calculator calculator is also given here then we have bond yields okay then we have short rate then we have term structure bootstrapping is important here uh, you need to learn how to use the bootstrapping and solve the bootstrapping previously like this was gaps favorite area forward rate and the futures uh, forward rate agreement again this will be repeated in the book four but again gaps favorite area then forward rate agreement valuation of forward rate as well as the cash flow of forward rate both are different things you have to understand how to treat it differently how to do the calculation then there is free rates understand what are the discrete rates right now in the book we are using LIBOR but ideally we should be using the software software as a word right now if you don't understand what is LIBOR and software when you prepare you will understand don't worry then we have the term structure theories market segmentation theory all these theories are important from the theory question perspective you will get mostly you will get numerical questions in this area then next is the corporate bond purely theory topic everything you need to read i don't know like what is a possibly like highly important area in this chapter just read it understand it and whenever you feel like something is important remember that you can also use the fast track notes for this topic all the key points are given in the fast track notes now default rate and the recovery rate okay fine move on uh, mbs in mbs you need to understand everything but i will just show you what is the important area where it is where it is okay just first important area wcac and wam then we have cpr and mmr very important very important or very 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 important okay so previously like leave it now here we have cpr and smm so make sure you understand it okay so i like structured this particular segment or this particular uh, topic in such a manner like i elaborated it okay so we are going step by step in this if you compare this with the gaps curriculum or any other book so this much details are not covered in any book any book okay then we have the modeling pre-payment risk then we have these pre-payment risk understand it agency mbs understand it again this is a repeated discussion we will have the same discussion in the book once um, uh, reading on financial crisis of 2008 then we have the trading pass through and tbas understand what is tbas then we have the dollar rule understand what is dollar rule and how it works but not that important from exam perspective then other agency mbs product understand what are these products then we have valuation of mbs pool understand it monte carlo simulation understand it then we have the option adjusted spread understand it okay no calculations will be asked then we have the interested futures slightly complicated topic euro dollar is very important day count convention is very important then we have uh, clean and dirty price very very important treasury bills very important treasury bonds and futures understand the quotation cheapest to deliver very very important okay then we have 
calculation of conversion factors as per CBOT understand it how to do the calculations and so on and then we have general guidance for selecting the cheapest to deliver CTD then wildcard play important okay understand it then we have the euro dollar futures important and important as a testable area okay then we have swaps everything in the swaps is very important you might get approximately two questions okay then we have the interest rate first we starting with the interest rate swap understand is interest rate swap cash flow as well as valuation both are important okay and then we have the financial intermediaries how financial intermediaries work here so everything is given comparative advantage is given and then we have um just a second so comparative advantage in swaps important 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 and then we have the currency swap important currency swap is again like really important discussion so here this is the table understand this table okay and you're good to go so this is the end of book number three financial markets and products if you like this video make sure you like and subscribe to this channel share it with your friends it is good for everyone okay so thank you everyone thank you for watching see you in the next video bye bye take care